And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married, for he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, Hath the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses? Hath he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses, and unto Aaron, and unto Miriam, Come out ye three unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud, and stood in the door of the tabernacle, and called Aaron and Miriam. And they both came forth, and he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I the Lord will make myself known unto him in a vision, and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently, and not in dark speeches. And the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle. And behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heavenly Father, I confess my sins, I forgive those that have sinned against me. Lord, I, I ask you to give myself and all Christians the desire to read Proverbs chapter 3, Proverbs chapter 10, James chapter 1, James chapter 4, and Philippians 4, and John chapter 14, and John chapter 15. And Lord, after we have read or memorized all of those passages, I pray that every time we are involved in our favorite form of entertainment that that does not require a lot of concentration, I ask you to give us a desire to pray that we will not yield to temptation. And I ask you to give us a desire to pray that we will not speak foolishly. Lord, Lord, please give us, please give us the desire to pray that we will not speak foolishly every time we're involved in every time we're involved in entertainment that does not require a lot of concentration and i ask you to give us the desire to pray to not yield to temptation because that is what matthew 6 says to do and because john 14 is where jesus says if you love me keep my commandments and and john 15 also says that that jesus tells us if we keep his commandments we are his friends lord i ask this for myself and every christian in in jesus name if this helps you obey god please comment yes and like share and subscribe once again if this helps you obey God, please comment yes and like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.